Your boy, I'm just all into videos right now, right? I just got a lot to say. And you would think I wouldn't have any more to say because I spent so much time writing a blog and a book. Which, I don't agree with everything in there now. And maybe I don't always agree with everything I say right now. Sometimes it depends on the situation. But thankfully, I have a mind to think and I'm able to be wise enough to ascertain that. Because some things may change. But one of the things I wanted to address was this. Is I had said something in the two videos ago. So therefore, there is now no condemnation. You know, to be honest with you, if you really think about it like this, when you have when you get the Godhead and you have Lord Krishna and you have Christ consciousness and you connect to that Christ consciousness, which has to be rooted within the heart. So the heart travels through all of these uh, chakra points and then you, know, you have your, your consciousness and your pineal gland. What I'm thinking about is like when you finally do connect with source or the essence of the El Elyon within yourself, as you go through your El Elohim and whatnot, to realize there is no condemnation because you aren't the same person you were when that happened. And it doesn't matter if there's a cyclic system. It doesn't matter if there's a spiral system. It doesn't matter if um, past, present, future are all intertwined. It doesn't matter because what it is is your station with your spirit, your being where you are right now, moving forward. Okay? I look back and I'm not the same person I was then. I look back and I'm not the same person I was when I did this. I look back and I'm not the same person I was when I did that. So if people say things to me, and I'm like, oh yeah, that was me. Was. Not now. But if you want to judge me based upon that, that's fine, because I'm I'm good to go. No, I'm not like that anymore. Or, um, yeah, because I did that. It was when I was in a descended master state, and I had to do what I had to do to get to where I'm at now. Because um, I start going through these ascended masters, descended masters, transcendent masters, kundalini masters, lotus born masters you go there's a lot of stuff in all of this stuff right but then you realize nobody has the right to condemn you not even yourself that's why i say it. it's it's um it's from a what's a krishna consciousness so i say krishna and i believe krishna is yashua which is actually joshua which got turned into jesus christ during the gracian time frames but i believe krishna cycles through and does things um, throughout its creation because it's netty netty not this not that and um, it's one of the things it does it's just, um, makes people aware once you like me like oh wow that's better than any religion dogma or ideology I've ever heard so then you get out of break free from religion and you still are able to take aspects from this belief or that belief but then you realize they all go back to that this one type of belief anyway, but that one type of belief isn't supposed to stay that way, it's supposed to change too. And then we're supposed to have something completely new. Because there's nothing new under this moon and sun, right? Doesn't mean that there isn't anything new. It just means where we're at right now. And I think that that's going to change. It has to change. So remember that before you go around condemning yourself or condemning others. They aren't the same as they were. Um, that's one thing with the woman that birthed me. When I was in the situation I was in, it was rough. She may not be the same now. That is fine. But I understand that I, too, am not the same. And at this point in time, it's like, I'll just interpret this as other people. And I bring this up because I brought her up in a previous video, too. I wish her no ill will. I don't wish anybody ill will. I just know what I need to do for myself right here, right now. And that's another reason that I have done my name change and say I have no mother, I have no father, I am nobody's daughter, I am nobody's um, sister. Or, well, let's take that back a little bit. I have what I call like sisters, other um, beings that I know them when I see them. But um, I'm talking like, you know, biological, right? But I also, for me, I, I don't, it would be one of those, if life were to transform, she wouldn't recognize me and I wouldn't recognize her. There would be nothing there anymore because there isn't that, um, there's no attachment. I have no attachment to anything. It's a connection. And I would just, it would just be another face in the crowd, right? But then there are others that I am um, very close to still connected, connected to everybody, but there's, they call it a soul group. So there are beings that are more 
it goes with energy, frequency, vibrations, resonance, resonance and whatnot. And you kind of align with them. And they are uh, like a group, like the creator, what I like to call source or whatever you want to call it. It's, 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 it's the essence of everything there is. It's indescribable. And it throws itself out there and breaks itself down into all of these things. And it's almost like it takes this part of its spirit and makes that, this part of its spirit and makes that. So these groups, these groups, and I believe it itself is androgynous when it creates itself, um, but that it can look as a single form too. And I, I believe to be a more masculine, but I also believe there's a female godhead and I believe it came like that, okay? And then these two godheads start breaking things down more and more and more and more and more. And they all just come back to the one. Um, so, yeah. You just need to understand, too, that it is okay to feel the way you feel about something or someone after you've been through a lot of abuse and crap and be able to speak your truth, but at the same time not wish them ill and not wish anybody harm or bad or malice. I myself can't stand the institutions. I have no love loss for them. Um, I don't hate them. I almost say I'm neutral about it, but since I'm in it right now, it's a little bit different to be to be like that and um, and all the day all the governments fall apart and all the churches go away or whatever or all these religions and whatnot I don't think I'd be outside doing some big party dance or whatever I'd just be like, oh, finally thank you thank you so it's not even like I'm just like oh, let's stick it to him let's stick it to him it's like no I want it gone it's like having a tick on your body and you know it shouldn't be there and you don't know how to get it off and it's driving you crazy and it's making you lose your fucking mind and it makes you want to get away run away get away and then you meet somebody and they can get it off like my good girlfriend my uh, one of my sisters <laughs> um, but yeah so just remember there's no condemnation because you don't deserve to be condemned you aren't the same person you once were. And um, that's okay. There ain't nothing wrong with that. We don't want to say we evolve, okay? I think it's more like we come back to our natural state. And that's, that's what we're supposed to do. Just be you.